Hey guys, it's Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be going uh, big power, big uh, free renewable power with uh, hydrokinetic engines. Um, so what they are is they essentially draw power from flowing water. Okay, so let's just start making one. First you're going to need a shaft core. It's pretty simple, it's just two rods and a HSL steel ingot. It can be done in the crafting one. So you put the steel ingot in the center and then the uh, shaft units on either side in the corners and you get a shaft core like that. And then what you're gonna need to do is you need to make, uh, I've actually accidentally made one, um, but you need, need to have 72 base panels and basically it's a three by three. So let's, okay. And then what you do is you essentially fill up every single square like that to get one. Doop, 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 dip, dip, potato chip. Okay, so we're gonna get seven of those, but I've built that actual one. Like such. Okay. And then inside the work table, put the shaft core in the center, and then put the panels paddles around the outside and you get yourself a hydrokinetic engine. Okay, so now I've, uh, we're also going to be converting the uh, um, the shaft power into uh, uh, RF power, but uh, so here we go, hydrokinetic uh, engines, their max power, you can get them up to 5,000, no, 5, no, 000, watts, right. So once we convert all that into RF power, we actually get about 93 RF a tick. All right, so basically uh, 5,628 watts equals about one RF a tick. Now these figures are fairly um, rough, because I don't know the exact, but that's what I get from my little testing. And here's a little sign saying the uh, leadstone conduits only have 80 RF a tick. So we're gonna need hardened ones, because uh, as you can see, 93 is more than 80. So we're gonna have to make those as well. But uh, we'll make them later after we set up everything. So once we've got the hydrokinetic engines, I'm going to put down four because I want to have, I think four will be enough to run uh, my extractor uh, on every single stage. So what you want to do is um, you want to put a bucket of water. Have I got a bucket of water somewhere? I've got a bucket. I need a bucket. There's a bucket. I've got a bucket of water somewhere. Water, water, water. There we go. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some water. Have I got another bucket? Mm. I'm gonna need to do like four. No, nope, not that one. Not that one. Uh, how much iron have I got? I need to make more buckets. Nope. Uh, actually, let's just take that. That should work. Do. Okay, so that's four buckets. The reason why I'm growing uh, at least four buckets is because you need uh, at least four uh, source blocks to power um, four hydrokinetic engines. So essentially one uh, source block per kinetic engine. Um, I know you can get water to split off, but um, I've found just through my little tiny testing that having water that, uh, that spreads out right doesn't <coughs> effectively power the engine quite right. So we're going with four source blocks. So I've got the uh, little tool to move that. I should have it somewhere. Where's my tools? There it is. Okay, so let's just pick up this. <coughs> okay, so um, the maximum power you can get out of it is uh, that 500,000 or so. And to get that, you're gonna need a water stream that's about 64 blocks high. Um, the minimum water block height you can have is uh, three blocks high, so but that's not going to produce very much power at all. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Okay, so to figure out how many blocks up you need to go, so if you're going to go 64, I found that if you put a, uh, a, a landmark down, which is a, a redstone torch with a bit of lapis, and if you put a lever next to it, it produces these blue lines, which for our sake, is actually about actually 64 
blocks high. So what we'll do is I'm gonna nerd pole up here. Like this. So I'm gonna use the water to get down and hopefully I don't die. Potato chip, dip, dip, potato chip. Um, if you guys haven't seen, I actually did put a video out on um, Gary's mod. Just a little bit something different if you guys want to see that. Can I not go any higher? Yeah, I can go any higher. Let me stop. Okay, so there's uh, 64, so I'm just going to go a little bit higher, just to be sure. Um, I also want to make it so that the, uh, the water block, uh, the water doesn't split to the side, so I'm going to make a, a little um water block guard so it doesn't overflow around the outside and we're gonna need four block spaces that's three this is the fourth one like that so it's four blocks like that okay let's just go a little bit higher make another little bar barrier uh, i'll just do this just so we don't get the the water splitting Yeah. Oh good, now it's going to rain. Excellent. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, that work. There we go. <coughs> oh, been eating frogs or something. Okay, let's just put this hardened portable tank down. Rubber bucket. There. See, there's that split, so put another source block in there. Another one, and another one. And if we look, <coughs> if we creep over the side, we should see it slowly going down to the hole that I made previously. And let's pick this uh, tank up. And let's go down there. Let's go to the edge so I can breathe a little bit. And hopefully, I don't fall. There we go. Dip, dip, potato chip. Okay, so these are hydrokinetic engines. We will need uh, uh, lubrication, so make sure you uh, send over some lubrication. And the lubrication must go on one end, so I'm just going to put the hydrokinetic engines down first. And I'll show you where the lubrication goes in. So uh, this should, should be. Well, when you place down the hydrokinetic engines, they are <coughs> the output is always facing to you, much like all the other machines. Okay, so we'll go like that. Get rid of those wooden blocks, so I'll be in the way. Doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. We should get an axe, we should get an axe. This one as well. Okay, so uh, here we go. So one there. As you can see, the red means output. <coughs> output, output. Uh, they won't turn until they're lubricated. So if we get a little uh, tool out, you can see that there's uh, zero millibuckets of lubrication so they're outputting nothing so let's see if I've got enough uh, okay have I got enough 25 that should be enough hopefully doop, doop. okay so we'll just run it this way okay don't fall off there I guess we're going this way then. Okay, 10 left. I might have to make some more. That's not good. Okay. 
I'm just gonna steal some. Okay, let's shoot some over here. Oh, okay, there's only one over there. <coughs> Alright, I'll be right back when I just make a couple more. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've got the uh, the extra lubricant pipes and that should flow all the way to the outside. We'll break this wooden block. Okay, break that as well. And as soon as uh, I place this pipe, these things should start turning. Yep, there we go. And if we look at the machines, they've got lubricant in them. They do use lubricant over time. So, okay, let's see. And, as you can see, uh, the engine outputting uh, 2.097 million watts at 32 rads. So, that's roughly four times that 500,000 number I said before. Now, uh, don't get too close to these, or this happens. Ow. So they do take off health quite fast, so don't get stuck in them. You might actually be able to use these things as mob grinders too, if you felt like it. Okay, so now that we've got this, uh, looks going at 40 degrees, that's alright. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so once we've got the uh, 2 million watts, that should be able to power that thing going full speed. So we'll just first we'll switch that off. Get that coil. There. Okay, and what are we gonna make next? We've gotta make let's make a NG cell for it first. We need four pieces of lead, uh, a block of redstone, four pieces of glass. Do, do. Four pieces of glass like that. Four pieces of lead on the outside. And a block of redstone in the center. Gets us that redstone. And how much iron have I got? That much. How much nickel have I got? Uh, I was supposed to make. Did I put invar in here for it? Yeah. Um, that's for something else. Ooh, supposed to make four pieces of invar. Okay, so that's. Have I got it in here? Nickel, nickel's good. Uh, nickel. There we go, nickel's alright. <coughs> okay, so we'll quickly cook this up. Okay, so need two pieces of nickel and four pieces of iron, that should do it. Okay. Okay, let's make the next thing. What we're going to need now is a what it's called. Let's look at the book. Have I got the book? Okay, so there. Okay, so the machine we're looking for is this one, the uh, rotational dynamo. So essentially this one turns the um, shaft power into um, RF. And as you notice, the input's in the back and it pretty much uh, produces infinite amount of RF depending on how much shaft power you put into it. So let's just grab that. So we're going to need two steel gears, two steel ingots, uh, one piece of redstone and you're going to need a redstone transmission coil. So that's a piece of gold and two redstone to make that one. So put in the work table, transmission coil at the top, redstone at the bottom and then a pyramid of steel and then the two gears, like such. Get our rotational dynamo. Let's go chuck that on there. So essentially just goes on the outside like that. So if we look at that little tool, we're now producing 372 RF attack. That's pretty decent. Four pieces of iron. Why did you stop cooking? Okay. So we got that. I sh actually, I'll show be back when we get that iron because I've got to grind it down in the slowest form possible because I haven't got a macerator or anything like that yet. So I'll be back then. Okay, guys, I'm back and we've got our invar ingots, which are important because our leadstone NG cell. I've also made another mistake. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. 
Uh, uh, okay. Whetstone. Oh, you made the frame, didn't I? Because it was a Gumby. Two pieces of copper, three pieces of copper, and a redstone can't do it. Oh, uh, that's Electrum. Have I got Electrum somewhere? Yes, I do. Do I have copper? Yes, I do. Three pieces of copper. Uh, do I have redstone? Yes, I do. Yeah, excellent. That's not so bad. Okay, so let's finish off making this uh, NG conduit. Uh, not conduit. Uh, NG cell. So, that. Let's get our redstone NG conduit. Ah, why do I keep on saying conduit? Okay. So, the cell goes in the centre. Conduit goes there. No, yes. Then copper on the outside like that. And yay! Win. Now, to make this into a hardened one. Doop, doop, doop. Just put uh, invar on the outside. Now, if we press shift, we can see the uh, details of it. So it's got uh, 2,000, 1,000 RS uh, total. Things it can rescind and receive. Oh, can I send and receive 80 hour protect? That's not good. I thought they could, uh... I don't know. Hmm. 400k? 800 hour protect. Hmm. That's a little bit odd. Okay, so you can only send... Re oh, I see, because it's set on... Yeah, I'm a Gumby. Forget me. I'm just stupid. Okay, so now we need to make our... Conduits, so they're pretty easy. I've actually got all the parts for it today, including the invar. Okay, so to make it, we need to put uh, lead on the sides, glass in the center, and then put redstone on the outside. So we're going to make a uh, three lots here, like that, and there we go. We get our redstone energy cell. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, here we go. Six there, six there, six there. Three there, and then three there. So we're turning these leadstone into conduits. Uh, and then invar like that. Ooh, okay, so I'm missing redstone now. How much redstone I'm missing? Three. Oh, I know why, because it's the... Eh. Brain stops working after a while. Three! Brain stop working. There we go. You would not believe how tired I am today. Okay. Dang. Okay, so maybe I miscalculated. I'm not going to make any more. <laughs> Alright, okay. So we, don't, we don't only need that much anyway. So, let us set up this conduit. So, like that, like that, 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 and that. And we'll put our red energy cell there. And this one will go there, 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 and there. And that should be enough, yep. There we go. So, let us make the other part, which is the... This one. A magnetos magnet magnetos there the magneto to ah, ma magneto static engine a magneto engine okay so this one essentially turns RF back into shaft power so essentially we can instead of running shaft power through shafts and all that and gearboxes uh, you can essentially just keep on making these and having a RF NG conduit system, which for me seems a little bit better. Okay, so lead, lead, silver, copper. Okay, let's make this. So you're gonna need a shaft unit, two base panels, uh, two pieces of silver, piece of copper, two pieces of lead, and a redstone conductive tube, uh, conductive coil we made before which is gold and two redstone so what you do is put a, the coil the copper the shaft and then the base panels in the bottom corners silver on the side 
and then two redstone like that. And you're supposed to put this in the work table and not be a Gumby. Okay, shaft, panel, panel, put the panel in the right place first. Silver on the sides, lead in the top corners, copper in the center, and the coil like, there we go. Win. Okay, let's put this down. I'm pretty sure the max is 400, that's why I made the hard one. Okay, so, yeah, okay. So let us increase the maximum output and the maximum input to its max, 400 RF2. So this thing can handle all the power coming in from there. If we were gonna, we we're making a lot of RF power. Okay, so let us turn this the left side using the configuration to orange, so it's output, the orange in the corners. Okay, that, 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 and we'll get rid of this shaft. I can get rid of this now too. I'll get rid of those later. And we'll put a magnetic engine there. Uh, flip it around with the screwdrivers so its output red is facing towards our bevel. And we'll start supplying power to it like that. Now if we look on our machine here, it says nothing. Oh, yep, it's getting power received from at somewhere. Okay, so this one, as you can see, the RF, it's got an RF pool as well. Um, to run this thing uh, through all four of the stages, we're going to have to uh, make sure we have the minimum torque and the minimum speed. The minimum torque is 512, so if you, what you do is press on plus until it gets to the desired one. It's, oh, went a bit too far there. And the RADS is 8192. There we go, and as you can see, it uses 4.1 million watts, which is a lot. Jesus Christ. Uh, which means I'm going to have to add four more of those hydrokinetic engines onto it. Uh, yeah, should be. Are we going to need all? Nope. Okay, so what we do is we will put redstone control off, so we can just turn it off. Is it off? Oh, whoops. There we go. Redstone control on. There we go. So we can turn this one on and off so we can let it build up a charge. And then when we already do some extracting, we just give it a redstone signal and it'll start off. Like that. So there we go. If we want to run one of those uh, at full minimum, we're going to need four of these. Yeah, okay. So. And to add on to this one, right, you essentially just um, move all this back and add, add, make sure you've got the actual water going through as well. Have I got everything that I thought of? That I actually think of? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I think that's about it today, guys. Um, if you liked it, please press the like. If you want more of this stuff, subscribe, by all means. And until next time, guys. Ah.